Hello. Uh, this Sunday, I leave to fly to San Diego. From there, I'm going to go to Tijuana to the Cellular Performance Institute facility. Uh, that is a facility that is well known for uh, doing stem cell therapy for individuals who have injuries. Uh, healing time is increased and it helps avoid surgeries. Um, why I'm going uh, earliest injuries to present injuries, I guess. So I have, uh, I was like 10 or 11 and I ruptured a disc in my L4 pressing against my sciatica. So I dealt with that pretty much my whole life. Um, just always having pain. Uh, it gets worse sometimes and not so bad others. Um, I have been in pain to where I couldn't walk for several days because of that injury. Um, then I also have uh, severely ruptured discs in my neck, in my C5, C7. I'm not a doctor, so if anybody tries nitpicking this, that's fine. Nitpick away. I have uh, medical records that I could sit and read off, but I don't choose to read those. So C5, C7 in my neck, and that's actually, those are extremely terrible. Um, also, I have not extremely ruptured, but just also ruptured discs in the C4, C6. That's come over my life uh, just doing sports. Um, neck has taken a lot of uh, a lot of impact, I guess, enough to rupture the discs and severely rupture. Uh, as far as the neck goes, I had uh, partial paralysis in my right arm and I guess my right chest and stuff as well due to it um, to the point where it was causing atrophy in the, the arm and it uh, had a considerable amount of, of size loss. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to have injections in my lower back discs and my neck discs uh, with stem cells with some gel mixtures and stuff that they have. Um, as far as I've read, this is the only alternative that there is to surgery, which I don't want to have because right now if we do surgery on the neck, it, it involves taking the disc out, putting some type of spacer in between, and then fusing um, the disc together. At least that's what I told my option was. Um, so I'm going to have that done. Um, I have a torn labrum in my left shoulder, which is extremely painful too. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to have injections in my left shoulder. Uh, while down there, I'm going to have them add on an injection into my left knee. I have a, I believe it's a tear in my meniscus of my left knee. So left knee, meniscus left shoulder, uh, labrum, tear, um, and then my neck and my back. So uh, this is going to be interesting. This is my first video that uh, I just wanted to discuss as far as like the injuries, the level of pain that these cause. Uh, I just live with pain every day. It's, uh, it's, it's taxing on me. Um, and when they flare up, it gets even worse. Um, there's no, I don't take painkillers. Um, painkillers could probably help for like my knee and my shoulder, but as far as like my neck, um, there's no, they, uh, I think they prescribe me gabapentin or gabapectin or whatever it's called, but, uh, that doesn't really do anything. I mean, they end up, and there's no... If you don't have nerve pain, you don't understand it. Um, so if I have like a, um, like my, my shoulder with a torn labrum, right? I, I can position it into a, and hold it in a position and, and the pain just will stop. 
Um, I can I can usually find some angle or something that will stop it from hurting. But when my uh, when my neck is really hurting, and a lot of times it's like if I slept on it wrong or if I overexerted myself during training, there's a <clears throat> I can pay for that for up to three months of pain of non-stop pain it interrupts my sleep uh, it interrupts every aspect of my life I mean if you're in pain non-stop um, it, uh, it definitely affects you and uh, then having lack of sleep on top of it, it it's terrible so um, that's just level pain I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that I'm just explaining the fact that this is what I have, this is what I'm going through, and now I'm gonna to go to CPI. So I'm gonna document while I'm in the Cellular Performance Institute as much as I can, um, the entire, all next week. Again, I leave Sunday. I'll be down there um, and documenting whatever I go through and everything that I'm doing and uh, keep everyone posted. So then if it's uh, something as far as an alternative, so. If anybody, any of you out here uh, decide that you don't want to have surgery and you want to try stem cells, at least you'll be able to use this as a reference. So I'll keep you posted.